Hi guys, this is Mike from Mike's Home ESL and today we're gonna see three basic tips for your demo class. So what is a demo class? A demo class is a demonstration class. If you are a foreign teacher in another country, if you are working in a private school or what we call also English training schools, so you will have to face those demonstration class. Here are three basic tips for your demonstration class. Check this out. In a demonstration class, in what we call a demo class, you will have the parents watching and also new kids. And at the end of this demo class, all the parents will decide if they sign or not. So you gotta do a good job first the preparation. You gotta prepare your content. You gotta prepare the structure and of course what methods you're gonna you're gonna use. Um, of course the content. What are you going to teach? How old are the kids? Make sure to have all these informations that you need. How old are the kids? Uh, what should you teach or what should you not teach. Of course, always go for something simple for the kids to make the kids speak. If you go with too much complicated, the kids will feel boring and they will not participate into the class. So most part of the time you are working with a TA, a teacher assistant. He'll be here to help you in this demo class. So you will have to cooperate with him and try this demo class without any keys. Yeah, preparation, very important. The structure, what you're gonna start with. Of course, always a warm up. Then what game you're gonna play. Then what you're gonna, what sentences you're gonna use. Of course, you cannot use only words. The method, what method you're gonna use. Pretty much ESL teachers always use that TPR, total physical response. TPR, a very important method for your class, of course. Number two, behavior, especially your behavior. Of course, you gotta be active. Your demo class must have a good tempo, not too fast, not too slow. You gotta be smiley if the key Kids love people who are smiling. If you are like, oh, no, it's not gonna work. Everybody knows that. And of course, attention. Pay attention on everything. What I mean on everything, pay attention on that boy over there in the corner who doesn't lie to speak. Because if he speaks during your demo class, especially at the end, he, he's gonna be at the beginning of the class, a kid who doesn't like to speak will be like watching others and he will see others having fun and he will start to be engaged into the demo. He will, uh, he, he's going to feel like, yeah, I gotta practice, I look like an ass. <laughs> I, I, I look stupid not doing anything. So he's gonna, he's gonna practice and he's gonna, uh, start to speak. So like I said, this guy in the corner, he is the most important kid probably in your class, but you don't have to show it in front of everybody because you got the parents here. He is probably one of the kids that you will have to work more if he sign into your school. When I say pay attention, you get also pay attention to the kids security. Make sure that what you're playing is safe and all that stuff. Pay attention as well on the parents who will be probably very close to their kids, in the back of their kids, and will be all the time, come on, say it, come on, come on, say the word. No, you ask the parents to be pleased, or you can ask your TA to do it for you, then the parents do not communicate with the kids. Even if the kids doesn't, doesn't want to speak, parents stay aside and only watch. And of course, uh, make sure the parents are not playing with their mobile phone too, all right? Little bit of respect for the teacher, please. Three, 
make the kids happy to learn and this is the most important thing at the end of the class they will pretty much run to you hug you the result of a good work if the kids are running to you they love you you play a good game but be careful to what to what kind of game you're gonna play don't play hide and seek without the kids practicing english right remember i've seen so many teachers playing this game and yeah that's failure and so yes please make the kids happy to learn um, reward the kids during class uh, for those who are very shy just encourage them give them high five give them more points on the board so that is a very important thing make them happy to learn and you will have the parents signing for your class. So that was three very basic tips for your demo class. I hope it can help you. I will see you in another video, probably other videos like how to structure your work. It's one of the most important thing. If you are new in here, you gotta know that Mike's Home is an ESL teaching tips channel. If you're new in here, I consider you to subscribe. But for now, I'll just say goodbye. See you guys. Take care.